What up guys, Peace SDS here for a, um, I don't know what this video can be about, I mean it can be a lot of topics or whatnot, but I'll do one topic at a time. Let's talk about ICW. Um, I did the, as you can hear, I mean I've had the podcast, the ICW podcast, about the uh, Lucha Libre Invasion review and my thoughts about it. And but let's talk about their new event that's coming up, which will be, um, I think, October 3rd, actually. I think it is. Yes, October 3rd. Which, there's your little poster. And look at this, too. Do you recognize that logo? Yeah, Fall Brawl. I don't know. Um, who's on the Who's on the map? I mean, who's on the, uh, the flyer here? Well, we got June Heydu, June Heydu, United States champion. You got the former world's champion, ICW champion, intense championship wrestling champion, Troy Miller. There's no Hubertu Guerrero. Man, this place is a shindy. I love ICW, but. I just, I don't get it. I really don't. I wish I could be in the backstage. I want to be, that's what I'm going to do. I like to be close. I want to be, you know, let's let's put Sam the Slam in here. He's a hardcore fan. I I think, I, I was thinking I am in the business. Yeah, I'm not in the business, but in my mind, you know, I don't have to be. I'm a hardcore fan. I have different thoughts and processes and stuff. But I don't know why that you have Hugh Guerrero as a champion, as your champion. And you guys do it once a month shows. Now, if you do two shows a month, yeah, I understand that. But you do once a month shows. And you don't have him on the show. You can't have him just defend the belt. I hope the Lord, it's not going to be, when he comes back, he's going to lose it. I'm like, really? What kind of title reign was this? I don't understand it at all. I mean, are you going to go back to Troy Miller being the champion? But then again, here we go here. This show is going to, I mean, the only thing that's going to really prove Troy Miller's excellence to get the belt back, the only thing you have is Facebook, and the, the, with the promos he does, which is no, it's just no problem, but that's, a, but that's the only thing, is it's just, the only thing that stands these shows are these promos. I'd like to see more promos from all the other wrestlers, though, because Troy Miller is the only one who can, who's been up this company. He's the only guy who's been doing the promos, right? I mean, you had Linux King, who did the um, promo. Like the ha 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 that promo. I would see more promos. Um, well, then again, I forgot. You had La Raza. You had um the uh, this the mastermind said Page. You had him do one, which is a very excellent talent manager. One hell of a manager. You have La Raza, who are future ICW champions. They're awesome. They're great. They're cool. I enjoy him. Mexican Connection on here. Let's talk about the Mexican Connection. El Gavion and Lil Mora. I don't really care. I mean, it's cool. They're awesome. El Mora just... I mean, they're okay. They're cool. El Mora comes out with his... I don't know. He comes out with his woman. I call her Sexy Star Marion. Or Marion Sexy Star. Cause she has the same... It looks like Sexy, Sexy Star. She has the same kind of mask on her deal or not. They're okay. With that... <laughs> that song gets in my head, but they're all right. I don't care. We got Dick the Bruiser Jr. coming here on this show. And this should, I mean, Dick the Bruiser Jr. or Son in Law Jr., I mean. It's old school at its best. I'm not even worried. I mean, it's just right here. I'll be sitting down like, eh. No, just, there's nothing. I don't know. I have, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm just, I'm not a fan. I mean, who knows? I don't care. Then we got the beast on here. This this guy on here looks like a duel the butcher. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about the beast. We got this new guy here, which I have no idea what his name is. It's on dang their Facebook. I know his face is on here. The Enigma Lucio Deaver. 
Then we get a chick named Sarah Fernie. Then we get Fleck. Fleek or Fleck? What? What's going on? Where's the elite at? Why can't you have the elite to come? There's a good post to put on there. The elite returns to ICW. I mean, you were stripped. We we need to have a better tag team division here. I mean, you got a Mexican connection, you got La Raza. Then you had Super Irresistible, which they got stripped of their titles because of their no show up. They only had like two, like, like what, defendings? Stupid as hell. The Elite should have been the champions. They should be. You need to bring them back bring and bring some more tag teams up. Or create a tag team up in the, for, you know, create something. Um, but that's our thing is the Elite should. The elite should be on here. Oh, people say they don't like the elite, which I don't understand. Ever since every time I see these, I see when I want. I don't really talk to them, but when when we saw them at the double ACW show and everything, the great individuals. They're a great three man tag team. They're like the new. They're like the new edition of the Freebirds. You know, I don't understand it, but I don't know. I'm not in the business. I'm not in the politicking crap and all that shit. I don't know. The elite should should be on here because I mean they deserve to be on here. I like to be see a bigger tag team division than this. Oh, we have Matt Creed. He's all right talent. And then we got which I think right here if they had that Sarah Fernie chick, they have Cameron Starr here. They have the Great Cheyenne, the ICW's Women's Champion. They also have Celine Grace. So are we gonna have a fatal four way for the uh, the Lucha, I don't know how, what's it, the Lucha Libre champ, the Lucha, Lucha Lumens Championship, that's what I think what it is. We have a Fatal 4 okay, let it be good, but let it be better than that one Fatal 4-Way match. That was god-awful, which I, it was a couple months ago. And, I, I mean, that's cool, I'm glad, you got a great shine, she's kick-ass. Celine Gray, she's awesome, she's, she's very sexy, very beautiful. Cameron Starr, on the other hand. The camera star is great. I mean, I don't I'm not going to make fun of her you know, or anything about that, but they're all right. And then we got Linux King, which the show, I mean, right now, I think, here's an here's idea. How about have Linux King do a promo about the whole Larazi attack? You know, like, but then again, because that's a storyline here, too, is just what is going on. I mean, did, did, did Larazi get paid? To go after Lynx King by Miller or the Prophet Rick Craig or whatever his name is, I don't know. Um, and then we got Chad Ingio. I don't call him Simon Cow anymore. It's Chad Ingle, but I call him Chad Ingio. I like him. I'm you know I'm, I'm at the point now. I'm, why am I even making fun of these wrestlers? Because really, I mean, I'm just they're doing my they're being my dream, and I'm just a fan of the ticket. We just paid to watch, you know. Cause I bet I already, I bet I have a lot of heat with people. But you know, I just I have an opinion. And also, we did get a message. Well, I got a message from Troy, which he said, "Well, you'll see some of my messenger thing on here." He said, "So what, this is September 10th." He said, "So when do you guys want to sit down with?" the franchise and do a legit podcast. I'll answer anything. And Troy, when you say a legit podcast, my podcast is legit. Just because not not, not a lot of people listen to it or whatnot, I don't care. I am anything. I, I my mind, I'm, you can call me crazy, you can call me psychotic, like this guy is out of his damn mind. You know, that's the thing is, you know, I, I'm into this stuff, you know, but here's me, I'm down for the podcast interview or whatever, be, I mean, it don't have to be a podcast, it could be video, you know, view, like this camera in here, you know, I've been trying to talk to the NWO, which I think the NWO is really, I mean, man, yeah, let's talk about that now, I mean, but I'm down for the whole Troy Miller thing. And uh, but the thing with the whole questions and everything, I'm I'm more of a shooter, just coming out. I don't I don't like being, I mean, for me being the agency guy, I need to have stuff written down and know what I'm saying because I'm more of a ad libber 
or improv, you know, it comes out just like that. But, I mean, I'm down for that. But right now for the NWO, I mean, it's just, I don't, I have no idea. I mean, NWO is going great. I don't know what's going on with this new t-shirt deal. I don't know nothing. I mean, the, we have like 108 likes. But some of those people are just out random, you know. Well, some of my people, I I just I just spam, like, like our page. Just hand slams in it. But, um, I don't know. I want our page to be more successful. We need a new t-shirt design. That's what we need. Um, I, I feel very, I'm, out of the whole group, I don't know. I'm not even close to much of everybody. I mean, I am, but again, I'm not. I don't know. But that's all I can say for about that. It's just a little update about the whole ICW, what I see, what's going on. I want the show to be great. That would be very awesome if the show be I mean, it's, I hope it's gonna be entertained, but I just don't understand about the whole who to get era. Who's not there? I mean, I don't understand. I really don't. But then again, money to get them there and whatnot. That's the thing too, because I'm not in the business. I don't know any I don't know anything about that. I just don't understand it. I really don't, but but I'm out here. That's a I don't know. It's just a video. My thoughts. Peace.